Well, folks, I have decided which of my machines is going to go with me when I move to the Philippines early next year. If you've seen some of my other stuff, you're probably saying, why on earth would he sell off that beautiful hardware and take this clunk with him? Well, at least a big part of the reason is that it is a clunk. The other machines I've got can be sold for more money. The money can then be used where it will go a lot further than it will here in the US. One of the cheapest things you can buy in the Philippines is labor. If you can find someone with the skills you're looking for. And getting it repainted or powder coated there will cost me a small fraction of what it would to do the same thing here. The motors I have are already spoken for on machines I'm going to be selling, which is okay. When I get to the fills, I'll need to get a 240 volt motor anyhow. They don't run 110 there. This has been my test bed for playing with different ideas and seeing just what a Singer 306 can do. I have a spare belt for 306 class machines that is going with me. So that automatically narrows it down to the class of machine. The bobbin winder on this machine has been modified so that it will wind standard L-type bobbins. Most of the 306s, the 319s, the 206s have a bobbin winder that works with the OEM bobbin which is not quite L-class. Uh, it has thinner sides, straighter sides. They work quite well in this particular machine but I use a bobbin case that allows me to use the standard L-type that I can get anywhere. So part of what I'm going to do today is make sure that I have the hook assembly set up exactly the way I want to take it with me. I will gradually be going through this thing completely, making a few tiny mods, but the overall thing is to make it as reliable and smooth running as possible while I'm still here and can get parts cheaply.